Okay, we are live. Awesome. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to everyone watching wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our episode number two of our weekly series. What's your spark? Today I'm here with Salua Ibalin from Morocco, Belgium, US, Arizona, and many other places, and currently staying in Berlin in my original home country, Germany. Uh, hi, hi, Salua. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am doing wonderful. Thank you so much. So to everyone watching, please hit like and share your comments during the show. Ask your questions in the comment section and uh, I'll make sure we follow up on all the comments and questions after the show in the comments because it's a little hard to follow everything during the show. And sometimes the comments are a little bit are showing a little delayed on our end for some reason. So even though I work with women in financial services for the most part, and especially uh, uh, mid-tier women in financial services who want to get to the highest levels. This series is on a wider topic because I believe it's always great to open our horizon and bring in a fresh and different perspective and get inspired to new ways of thinking and in this way also open up our own possibilities as well. So uh, that's also why I am doing these interviews with women around the world, and we will bring in some women in finance soon as well. Uh, but uh, not only, we're going to mix it up a little bit, yes? So we can all learn from, from each other and be inspired to find our spark and live passionate, purpose-driven, and impactful lives where uh, whether we are uh, entrepreneurs, whether we work in organizations, whether we work in corporate financial services or whatever it is, right? And today I have the pleasure to share with you my friend and fellow nomad, Salua <laughs> Evelyn. Salu Hi again, Salua. And we're going to get to the questions for you in just a minute. I want to just quickly introduce you. So Salua is a business and digital marketing coach. And uh, there's much more info on her, on her LinkedIn profile. So check out her profile. It's super rich. Uh, check it out when we're done with our chat. But for now, listen up because I know Zalua and I know she will have lots of great information to share and wonderful inspiration to share. So again, for the third time, welcome Zalua. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you could make it and it worked out with the timing today. And yeah. we are going to dive right into the questions because we are all super curious, at least I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so Lua, I do know quite a bit about you, but I'm always curious to hear it again and in your own words. What's your spark? So in other words, what do you consider your purpose to be? And how is it related to what I call in my work, your distinctive uniqueness? Yes. How does it um, bring out your passions mm -hmm. and and your, your natural talents and your natural strengths? So tell us about that. What's your spark? So this is a very interesting question. Um, for the longest, I didn't know what my spark was, but I was playing around around it, you know. So it took me quite a, a while before I kind of figured this out. And it's all related to uh, where I come from. Mm -hmm. So today, my spark and my mission is to help women to become independent, independent from a job they hate, a relationship they are they hate or they stuck into, and a place they don't like. And mm -hmm. I do that by teaching them how to start an online business so they can work from anywhere. And um, under the online business, we talk about business strategies, but we also talk about digital marketing. So this is really the umbrella. But at core, my passion really lies into seeing results um, in, in ha when they have their own business and they succeed. I feel really, really excited about that because usually I'm passionate about it. And when you're passionate about something, you become successful at it. So I hope I'm answering your question right. Yeah, that makes so much sense. And, you know, just like 
just like you, I'm also pretty much a nomad and that's why I'm not in my usual setting today. You'll see that it's not my usual office setting today <laughs> or my home setting. I travel a lot and you do as well. So we want to be able to work from anywhere in the world where we feel like going or staying, right? And yeah. uh, we might still have our base or not. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah make it uh, work in our own way and also um so if there is any background noise today i apologize in advance because i don't even know how to sh how to how to shut that window properly in my yeah, space yeah, where I I am. but i hope it's mainly birds that you're hearing that's what i'm hearing right now so that's lovely actually okay that's so my maybe yeah this is open anyways there's <laughs> also birds yeah i hear there are birds as well Okay, awesome. And, uh, and you know, I can so relate to that too, uh, Salua. So we, I always say every chapter in our lives is a preparation for the next chapter. So yeah. we are working towards this purpose, right? And our purpose may change over a lifetime. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't mean that the previous chapter wasn't as important as the now chapter or as a future chapter, right. but it was still a preparation to what's to come right. or for what's yeah. to come. And All right. Sense, yeah, go sense, ahead. It's sure. very important not to skip the steps. So a lot of time people want yeah. to skip the learning curves. And by mm -hmm. doing that, they end up tripping and falling later on. Everything is important. The falls, the everything is important. As long as you learn from them and then you gain experience, then they prepare you for the next, for the next chapter. Totally. Right, exactly. I would say, look back to learn, look forward to create. <laughs> right? Yeah. We don't look back to regret. We look back to learn and then we move on, right? Yeah, yeah. so how did you find your spark? In part, you yeah. talked a little bit about that already, but uh, maybe there was some specific event that triggered you to find it or or maybe, you know, mm -hmm. you uh, something that, that happened in your life that, that pushed you a little bit or propelled you yeah. to where you are right now. Right. So like I mentioned earlier, I didn't know my spark right away. And I remember mm -hmm. when I was younger, really fighting with myself, trying to understand what, what my, my mission was. Mm -hmm. You know, what you kind of feel like, oh, this is kind of what you think you should be doing, but you're not sure and why. So it really took times and years and experience and listening to my intuition and follow those directions that led me to now in my late 30s where I have a good understanding of my spark. So it's not something that came to me right away, but I got bits and pieces along the way and I learned how to listen to that. Um, but the biggest, uh, the biggest reason or uh, things that had happened to me in my life, I think it's coming from my childhood. I had a mom, an immigrant mom, so we immigrate from Morocco to Belgium and uh, a, a single mom of five and I've seen her really fight really hard in a new country, trying to learn a new language, trying to work and really make her way uh, up to shelter us, her children, uh, from from uh, from bad things to happen to us. And I think that gave me, at an early age, that, ver that strength and that resiliency to really want to fight for women, for women's rights, for, for, for equality, and for that independence uh, that I mentioned earlier. So I think yeah. it was there all along, but I just didn't know, you know, I didn't know how it all connected. I think Steve Jobs has a really great quote like that. It only makes sense when you look back because all the dots are connected, but when you're in it, you don't see it. Um, so I think right. that was really the main thing that pushed me to where I am today. And, and even it was a lot of sorrow and sadness. I'm super grateful today because because of that, I was able to create the life that I have today, being independent and be able to travel and all of that. So I'm really, really grateful. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I also have a very painful story in the past or a few, <laughs> but it's also, you know, when you're in it, it seems like only pain and, and even a little bit like the victim. And once we move out of that victim mode, we can really step into our self-empowering mindset and really create something and look at it and say, okay, what am I going to do with this now? Yes. Why did I have to live through this? Right. Yeah. And, right. and, and then it all of a sudden, starts making sense right yeah. but it's yeah, a that's, you yeah. know it's a privilege to be able to be aware of this because a lot of people don't see it they yeah. just repeating the cycle and they don't understand why they attract all this misfortune but the idea is really to step back and to start paying attention 
thing for a minute, didn't I? No? Yeah, for, for just a, a, a nanosecond, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally fine. Oh, yeah. It didn't interrupt anything. So, yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, we are um, we are here to learn, and I, I believe we are born into a certain situation and family for a reason, right? And uh, I personally actually believe that we choose where we are born. Uh, but, you know, everybody is free to have their own beliefs, of course, and they am not imposing mine on anybody. So, yeah, and how are you now making an impact through your spark? So I think the biggest privilege I had is to be able to grow up in Europe um, because mm -hmm. I was separated from my brothers and sister as a young age, so didn't get that chance. They stayed in Morocco and I was able to come to Europe and I was the only one. And I feel like because I got the chance to have a westernized education, have a passport and have all the opportunities, I feel like it was my duty to make the change and to change that cycle of where we came from. I have a, I have an Ill, illiterate mom, very nice, very, but, but still she's, she's never been to school. She doesn't, we are world apart between my mom and I, yet we very, we very close, but I felt like this was my duty to make a change. And I use that uh, to create a lot of things. So I went to college, I created my own business. Like I mentioned earlier today, <clears throat> my, my mission really is to help women uh, start their online business, but I have an extra little thing that makes me a, not a little different, but a, a really dear to my heart is that I help mainly immigrant women entrepreneurs. So with that idea, and you're one of them, by the way, and with that, <laughs> idea, I created this book and I'm so excited because it's launching next month, hopefully, and you are in it. Because you yeah. are from the U.S., I'm from Morocco, Belgium to the U.S. Um, so this is a huge project. Uh, but to be honest, you know, we were talking about uh, following this bliss and not really knowing where we're going. Uh, this book is a project that is really dear to my heart. I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest. But I have a feeling that doors are going to open and things are going to appear that are connected to this. So that's why you have to follow you know, next step and next step and see what comes out. So this book called the Immigrant Women Entrepreneurs uh, uh, Stories in the United States is coming out. <clears throat> I also have online courses. I have a coaching program. I have a YouTube channel where I share my travels around the world as a digital nomad. Um, I've done 17 countries, 18 countries in two years. Yeah, Crazy. awesome. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, and four times Germany. I love this country. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so. It might get stuck. It might get stuck. <laughs> I'm in Berlin, but Berlin is really nice. I mean, I know you do German, but Berlin is yeah. really nice in summertime. You know, people are free. Yeah. Oh, I really like it here. Um, okay, awesome. You know, that, that's what I, that's how I used my opportunities to create something new and to hopefully lead and change the cycle and inspire, motivate, etc. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm so honored and, and, and thrilled to be in your book. Uh, in fact, you know, I've not only been an immigrant entrepreneur to the U.S., as you know, but also to Argentina and to Brazil, where I own my businesses. And it was not always easy to say the least, right? But that's uh, stories for another time. Uh, so... Um, yeah, and, and, and then I was also an immigrant in Spain, although that was with a job, which is a, a bit different, but still, yeah. you know, it was my first uh, time living abroad and it was all very new at the age of 26. I, I moved from Germany. So yeah, it's, and then ever since then, I've been, uh, I've been moving around. And uh, like you, I've also spent a lot of time Lately, more in, in Africa, actually. And last year, I was going to go back to several different countries in the spring, I think four right. or five African countries, and then also other places in the US and so on, and London and Hawaii. But of course, we all know what happened. So, but I was just coming back from two months in Uganda and Rwanda, at, in fact, and, and, and it's just so enriching and yeah. so you know yeah. uh, it opens up your horizon it yeah. you, know, you start to understand other people better just because you see so yeah. many different ways of of, right. of dancing of eating of whatever it is that that um life is made of right yeah. culture uh 
all 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 of it really all of it so by yeah by the way, by the way i wanted to yeah. i wanted to ask you your next african trip let me know i may join you on that one you know what i'm thinking about it already and uh i, I have a few places in mind but yeah. it's not decided i'm gonna keep you posted <laughs> please do because i've done north africa as you know i'm from morocco right yeah I've been six months in morocco it was amazing but i really yeah. want to i want to travel south i want to central okay. and south. so i'd love yeah please keep me posted um, Absolutely. So I was in Morocco actually many years ago, but only for 10 days. That was a vacation. The other times I've, I've been now to Africa, other parts of Africa, like mm -hmm. West Africa, East Africa and South Africa. Uh, I, uh, I, I've been there for work to co-host conferences, speak at events and so on and to do trainings. So that's that's been really, really exciting as well. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll let you know for sure. And then we can definitely do an exchange on, you know, experiences and all of that. I cannot wait to hear more about your trip as well. So Salua, yeah. for today though, so where can people find you apart from your LinkedIn profile? Uh, definitely and on my website. They, oh, again, so, sorry to interrupt you, but also if you could also guide us to your book again. Yes, definitely. So the book is not launched yet, but we do have a website with a coming soon page. So feel free to go, uh, you'll find that on my website at saluaibalin.com and there's a tab that says the book. You can go on there and you'll find the information about that. Um, and then, uh, so my website, and then I'm very active on YouTube, Saluaibalin TV, and on Instagram, Saluaibalin, same. Uh, yeah, and if, if you come and say hello, please let me know, uh, you know, send me a message or a comment. I'd love to know if you uh, came from this live, it would be really, uh, really awesome to hear from you. Yeah, that would be great. And we are also going to share the link again to our mailing list so that more people know about it because this is only our second episode. And uh, so before we close today, I wanted to just very quickly share my spark in one sentence. So my current spark is as a multicultural transformational leadership coach, I, uh, with, a, with a very strong, um, I should say this also, with a very strong focus on, on career advancement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have mid-tier women employees, and especially in financial services, achieve their next career goal so they can fulfill their potential and increase their income, influence, and impact. Because I think most women want to make an impact and, if possible, a big one. So thanks again, Salua, and to everyone watching. We hope this show inspired you to always follow your heart yeah. and to always pay attention to your spark. And please do like and comment, and we'd love to hear from you and uh, what you have learned or what you think about this. And see you next Tuesday, same time, 10 a.m. Eastern time, when I'll be chatting with Liz Bull, who is a life mastery consultant and medical intuitive. Salua, thank you again. Thank have you. Have a beautiful day. Thank Everybody. you. Bye.